sorry. Uh, oh. Hi. Sorry, I just haven't. Oh, I've so, got to turn my fan heat off. Okay. Hi. Hi. Can we play Pyra Pyramind? We can try and work out how to do it. Because I remember really enjoying it, and I've completely forgotten how you play it. Um, well, I was going to try and find... I sent it to you, didn't I? Recently. Yeah, but how, you like I can play it with you, can't I? Well, you need other people, don't you? No, I don't think you do. I remember us just playing it. Just oh, you and me. Yes, yeah, sort of, yeah. I don't know how we did that. Pyramid. There's definitely a way we can play it with just one one on one. Um, okay, shall I read it? Shall I shall we explain what we're going on about? Yeah. You explain. I've got the um I've got the synopsis. I don't know where the idea came from, but it's just a little game came up with. Game show, and, wasn't it? Yeah. And then we were working on it being a game show and uh we just thought we'd well, we we're trying to make a game show. That's what it was, I think. We had a day where we were like, let's try and make a game Well, no, show. it was more than a day, wasn't it? We... I know, I was trying to make it out like we hadn't wasted loads of time. I don't think we have wasted time. I think it's a cracking little show. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game. Well, let's read, shall I read out the synopsis? All right, okay. Pyramind. <laughs> That's what it's called. Well, I mean, that shit. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like Chatterbeaks. <laughs> yeah, so it's... Dangerous. But it's a working title, Pyramind. It's awful, isn't it? Five contestants stand at the base of a pyramid. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to hear this. I'll be honest with you, because I'm cringing. I just want to know how you play the game. I don't want to Their know there's a pyramid in the Their aim is to climb studio. to the top without falling through one of the hidden trap doors for a chance to win a cash prize in the grand final. Okay, so for, for us to play this, we have to move across a grid on a bit of paper. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how we did it. So yeah. I, I, oh, I think we did the finale, maybe. Maybe. Was it just a grid of... Well, it was the idea. It was because you go up higher and then you fall through. But the flaw with that is, it's like you can't yeah. let someone, yeah, I, I don't a care. pensioner, fall through the fucking yeah. floor and break their hip. Yeah, we know that. Now. <laughs> well, no one. I'll tell you something now. No one has a clue what we're talking about at this. Point. I know. There's basically, and nor do we. We're trying to work it out. There's a grid of say. I don't know, eight by eight, and however, what's eight by eight? Fifty six. Fifty six. Squares within the grid. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Think, of a a each... Think of a chessboard. Think of a chessboard. Right? Do I move across the grid and just say number fourteen? You say you're through. That's it, isn't it? It's as simple as that. <laughs> yeah, but you and there are trap doors along the way. Yeah, but you cut. You answer more questions. You answer right. The more. Um, yeah, that was that was the, the idea for the game show. This. The original show was just guessing squares. I sort of don't give a <laughs> shit about the game show at the moment. I just want to cross the grid. Yeah, but how did... Right. Can I read the finale? Absolutely, you can. <laughs> <laughs> just because it might give us... <laughs> the remaining contestant now has to make his way back down the pyramid. Or she. The remaining contestant now has to make his or her way down the pyramid. Or they... Or they trying to, to avoid the hidden trap doors. Right. Now, can you read that again? Right. Top of a pyramid, but it's flat. So it's you're on yeah. one you're on it's one a grid. square. It's a grid. Yeah, it's but a grid. think of it as a a grid that gets wider. So you like one square and then two yes. and then three and then four. So it gets like a pyramid. Like a flat pyramid, like I said. Yeah, a triangular grid on the floor. <laughs> yeah, or a pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think this is ready to pitch. Um, it's not about the idea, it's about whether they like our personalities. <laughs> well, super duper. <laughs> Go on. Uh, so, okay. You're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. okay, carry on. The remaining contestant now has to make his way down the pyramid or across the pyramid, not down, across the pyramid, may, trying to avoid the hidden trapdoors. But this time there's only one safe square on each row. 
To begin the final round, they are asked general knowledge questions in one minute. The amount of correct answers will determine how many trapdoors they will be shown on the pyramid. Wonderful. Making it easier for them to climb all the way down. Wonderful. So the more questions you get right, the more chance you have of getting down. For each row, the climb down, will you will collect a sum of money until they get to the bottom or they fall through a trapdoor. Okay. How does that work with the first, when you're coming down, the first, it'll be two squares the first time you come down. How does that work? <laughs> uh, oh, I thought we knew this. Mm. There's, there's definitely, definitely a sim. This was, the, this was changed for the, the game show. There was definitely a simple way of playing it. Yeah, we played it. With, <laughs> we played it with each other, didn't we? And we got we're very excited. I don't know. The wonderful thing about that is neither of us wrote down what we were doing. Bollocks. So, I Who think... We... It was oh. Andy, wasn't it? Andy was involved. Should we get Andy on? Yeah. Andy Devonshire. <laughs> He's a director of Taskmaster. Yeah. Oh, I'd love Andy to come on. Just... <laughs> Do you remember what we did? <laughs> Take over the plot for <laughs> six months. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Andy, remember six or seven years ago we talked about uh, he remember. got in touch with me last year did he? yeah I don't suppose you've got a mic set up in your home at the moment do you? and you can chat to us do you know when it was? it was five years ago well we had this idea that we can't work out right there is one big elephant in the room as well all right, mate, I went for a run this morning. I did go for a run this morning. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what she said. Doesn't work. <laughs> no. no. Um, you start the new, that's what she said, sting, and then end it really quickly. <laughs> that's what she said. It doesn't work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, put it in it. Yeah. Um, Wait, uh, uh, what are we... Uh, yeah, so the elephant in the room is that Bridge of Lies, that show, is sort of this, but a really good version of it. Yeah, well, it is. I was quite amazed. Do you know what I did? I went on IMDb and I went, oh, right, who who here has a connection with us who knows the idea and <laughs> nicked it? it? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> you thought someone had nicked it, right? Yeah, there. definitely. When have they ever spoken about it? Well, we're speaking yeah, we about it now. Not on here, we haven't. Oh, have we? I'm sure I've... Well, to be honest with you, the mount we're speaking about it now, it's unnickable because it's completely gobbledygook so far. Fuck. Do you know what I've been thinking? I'm James? looking at old emails. Stephen Knight created Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and he's also a successful screenwriter. It's all <laughs> making sense now. <laughs> Did you say that to Andy Devonshire? I think... <laughs> <laughs> to you, I think. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> this is, all these emails should be called getting carried away. Oh, this is really annoying because I know when you boil it down, it's a really good, fun, tense game. Shit! Right, just think about the... Right, I'm going to draw... I always felt like it helped. When I, can I get some paper? I'm going to get some paper. Do you know, I was going to ask you, have you got any scraps of paper from five years ago? <laughs> what, with that written on it? Yeah, with the game written on it. <laughs> what would I have kept? Bollocks. Let me go and get some paper, because I think it might help. Uh, yeah. Um... Baby 
Joe, I just had a thought. We yeah. got in touch with Richard Osman. Do you remember? What? No, but did we send it to him? Yeah, would we definitely I, did. Yeah. Would Would I have sent it to him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The ninth, the twenty nineteen. No, no, it would be like seventeen, eighteen. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because I was living. I remember where we were. I'm just going to read out what we've got here while you look. In the studio, can we have a bit of game show music, just atmospheric, James, please, under this? Pyramind. In the studio, a huge pyramid, backlit, <laughs> colourful, and imposing... Did we sound. write this? Hold on, did we write this? I think Andy did. Oh, OK. Sorry, okay. Start again. In the studio... A huge. Did we pyramid. write this? <laughs> I think, think Andy did. <laughs> In the studio, a huge pyramid, <laughs> backlit, colourful. Just say it. <laughs> Do you know what? When we re- when we read to um, the boys at night. I mean, like, Naomi's reading this book at the moment, and she's always like, all right, you ready, everyone? Yeah, ready? Okay. And as soon as she reads <laughs> the first two words, I just go, hairy willies. <laughs> Please don't, like, she's tired. <laughs> she's had a long, boys are cracking up. <laughs> You're the best dad. <laughs> Please, David. I don't that's know, what I they, call, that's I what they call an easy win. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Honestly, because you can read it. Oh, honestly, I won't. Yeah. Little Michael. Harry Willies. <laughs> <laughs> no, you read it. No, because I'm tired. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on. It's my birthday tomorrow. Painting Naomi is the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Where she's done all the logistical stuff all day. Like coming with the they're easy. Clothed, they're clothed, they're fed, they're warm. <laughs> <laughs> undercut it all with airy willies. Then she'll do it a third time, not smiling. <laughs> and the boys be whispering in my ear, do it again. <laughs> and I'll be no, no, we can't because we need to. <laughs> I suddenly, I suddenly get serious. <laughs> you sort of painted yourself into a corner. 
<laughs> no, we can't. Come on. Otherwise, it's no book tonight. Okay? <laughs> this is all my fault. And they're like, oh, suddenly, oh, what's the Something atmosphere? Who's this prick? <laughs> <laughs> who's this prick? So. Can't have it both ways, mate. <laughs> 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 oh, no. I've, I've got six or seven other things to do before I can no. settle down and have half hour in front of the telly. Honestly, do it nearly <laughs> every night. Last night, she looked shattered beyond belief. Oh, God. Oh, that... <laughs> <sighs> You're stealing all her thumbs. I know. <laughs> My boys would go, F. Uh, Perry Willies, ha ha ha! Oh, no, 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 they'll go FD, FD, FD. Do you know what FD is? Fantastic Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> FD, 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 FD. Yeah, FD, FD. Come on. Let's yeah, read. FD, FD. <laughs> Let's read. Come on. Oh my God, sure. <laughs> Perry Willies. That's your. That's their equivalent of that's what she said. Yeah. To get out of jail free card, you can do whatever you like. I know. <laughs> Fucking hell. You're so right. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it's done all the hard graft. Swoops in. <laughs> oh. Swoops in. Right. Okay, here right, we go. Shame we've got to go back to Pyramind, isn't it? James, can you put a deep voice... You know what to do on me, so with kind of um, I'm doing echo, the, not echo, I'm, but what would you call it? <sighs> anyway, I'm, I'm doing a grid. Pyramid. In the studio, a huge pyramid, backlit, colourful, an imposing sight. Five contestants stand at the base of the pyramid. Their aim is to climb to the top or without falling through one of the hidden trapdoors for a chance to win a cash prize in the grand final. There is one step at the top. There can only be one winner. Is this too simple? It feels like it's too simple. No, 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 no. It's really... Right, ready? Okay. Our host stands with them on a plinth. Who's our host? Revealed... Who's our host? Who's our host? You? No. Oh, Alan Carr? Yeah. Our host stands with them on a plinth that is revealed to be a hydraulic lift. Perhaps his own <laughs> Whoa, whoa, lift. whoa. I forgot about that bit. Well, I'll tell you what we liked. We liked the level, different levels of, like, Strike It Lucky. Oh you know, where yes, he runs up and, the stairs and it, yeah, and the, yeah, that that so he's at the uh, Alan Carr's at the same height. As Do you remember whoever. there was another one as well that was sort of a game show that didn't quite catch on, but he was running up steps up to. It was great. It was all over the shop. Yeah, the we like the energy of yeah bombing about. Yeah, okay. Our host stands with them on a plinth that's revealed to be a hydraulic lift, and as the contestants progress up the pyramid, his plinth raises. And so he is with them eye to eye with the contestant, contestants as they rise. Okay. In the document, so we get that, don't a, we? Yeah, but there's a lot of, there's like got a lot to that. Anyway, All right. in the well, Andy's the director of Taskmaster. I okay, think he knows okay. what he's doing. Yeah, okay, I forgot Andy wrote it. I thought it was you. I could pick it apart. If it yeah, it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay. Playing the game. On each of the rows of squares making up the pyramid, there is one trap door. Oh, I'm back in here. I'm liking this. Yeah, place. okay. On each of the rows of the squares making up the pyramid, there is one trap door. But the contestants don't know which square it is. And if they stand on a trap door during the game, they'll fall through and are out. I'm liking this for some reason. I'm back in, I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. To start the first round, they're all asked general knowledge questions. Yeah. The first person to correctly answer three questions, the fastest, gets told by the host which of the six squares definitely isn't a trap door. And then he or she climbs up on it. Yeah. Okay. 
Yep, yep, yep. You with I'm me? Interest- yeah, I'm, I'm really am actually. I'm just I'm interested to know what happens next. I can't remember. Okay, what. that's well, that's good, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Their correct answers are denoted by three cubes on a smaller pyramid in front of them. Can you put your normal voice on at some point? No. (laughs) No. (laughs) Their correct answers are denoted by three cubes on a smaller pyramid in front of them, which light up. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's just the scoreboard. Oh, okay, right. So that's got nothing to do with the game bit. No, that's just, you know, their correct answers are lit up in front of them. Oh, okay, 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 right. okay, 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 okay. That was fucking weird, but yeah. Okay, Andy, that was fucking weird. No, 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 I meant well, like... We've got to get Andy on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brainstorm it together. Every correct answer adds a sum of money to the jackpot. Okay, that's yeah. simple. Every wrong answer goes into the booby prize pot. So it's in everyone's interest to be answering well as high up the pyramid as possible. What's the booby... Right, okay. I'll just carry on. I think the booby prize thing's a bit weird. You hear that, Andy? Fucking hell, Andy. What? You, you, you. Tactics. Squeamish or meanish. What? They then have to choose where... That's good. So they, they've they got all their questions... They've answered three questions right. Yeah. They get told which one of those is a trap door. And the, and the audience at home are watching. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So they'll go, right, uh, the, uh, the, maybe number three is, is a trapdoor. We'll know at home. They yeah. step on number four. Yeah. So okay. there are however many squares left, five or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he's in again. Yeah. They then... The other contestants have to choose... No, sorry, that contestant. That, yeah. They choose the five contestants to stand on the next step. Okay. D- d- go through me again. Tell me, tell me again. Tell me again. From where? Okay. No, no, like, 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 so, no, 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 can, can I... Sorry to interrupt the pod, hope you're enjoying it, but um, just wanted to tell you that we have a Patreon page you can join if you're enjoying what we do, and you can get even more of us. Oh, can you imagine? So as little as £3 a month, you can get early access to podcasts, behind the scenes bits and bobs, we post pics and videos of what we're up to, and there's even an opportunity to come on the show, if that's what you fancy. There's access to our Discord channel, where the serious chatter biscuits gather and chat nonsense it's basically a really lovely community of idiots like us and i'm guessing probably like you so uh, if you fancy that go to patreon.com forward slash chatterbix now enjoy the rest of the pod So let me just see what I think. So, so, so there's five contestants. I, I get the I get the answer quickest or whatever, the answer right or the nearest. To, so I win basically. Yeah. So say it's like how many, how many people are there on the earth? Yeah, so you don't, they don't don't care about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. You've, <laughs> <laughs> And I've got the nearest answer, so I I'm yeah. Right. Forget about that. You've got the three yeah. correct answers. You. You've been told which one is a trap yeah, door. No so one I, else is told. You stand on one. So, yeah. so num, num, number yeah. three is the trap door. I stand on number four, right? Yeah. Yeah. So and say there I, are five. Do I then place? place... Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> there are five steps left. Yeah. Right. And I put There are five contestants or... and you choose. You go, say it's celebrity. You go, so Romish. David, I want you on one. Y- yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I don't know where the trap door is. So you go, Romish, you don't know where the... No, you yeah. do know where the trap door is. Or do what? That's what I'm asking. I Hang don't on. think I do. They then have to choose where the other... Yeah, so, but I don't think I know where the trap door well, is. it says here, the first person is told by the host. Told by the host, which of the six squares definitely, oh, isn't a trap door. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 
So number four is an trap door, okay, but you let... don't know where the trap door is. Right, just to... Imagine listening to this. This is, must be so <laughs> fucking annoying. I don't well, care. Then... <laughs> We're trying to work out our show. Yeah. So, And if just... anyone nicks this, we've got proof. Yeah, exactly. Okay. There's no chance anyone's going to nick this. Yeah, um, they will. They'll, they'll um, change it. To... Uh, right, so what about if you did know? You don't know. No, no, no. So you don't know. So you, you step on number four because you know it isn't a trap door, but you know one of the other steps is. You okay, don't so know a which one is. Reason. So I think if so. You want, if you want, say like I thought you were a brain. Yeah, I think it's all written get... down here. Just let me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Joe. Basically, you're desperate. No, I, to say. I think Andy's covered all that. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. This is exactly what you're saying. They okay. then have to choose where the other five can test. So you could go Romish, stand on number five. Yeah, I don't so know if, I if it's a trap door Romish, or not. Because I think he's a brain box. I might yeah. go him for him first because I want him to. Okay. It's in their interest to thin the competition. Yes, this is what I was saying, yes. Will they put their strongest rival onto the step? So that's somebody who's very good at answering questions, general knowledge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Will they put their strongest rival onto the step they think is the trapdoor? Or will they keep them safe to help the money increase all the way to the top? Okay. There's absolutely no way they know. They, yeah, okay. So, yeah, no. so you've yeah. got to go, well, if I get rid of, I'm not saying Romish, he's good at answering general knowledge, which yeah. is, you know, causing the It's good the and pots. bad because he's got more chance of winning, yeah. but also he's adding money to the pot. Yeah. Okay. Brackets for the first step up on the pyramid. There are seven steps and oh, one seven. trap door. Okay. Yeah. The winner of the round takes one safe step, leaving five people to step up onto any one of the six steps, only one of which is a trap door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sort of repeating So that there is a bit, chance yeah. that everyone <laughs> can go through to play round two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, ooh. Ooh, okay. So, <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so He's back in again. <laughs> I am, I am. You've Trust lost me. Andy. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I get it. I get it. So everyone can go through every time if you, oh, right, okay. Yeah. No, just the first round, I think. Just the oh, first okay. round. Okay. After round two, if you just listen to Andy, after <laughs> round two, there will be one person eliminated per level. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think okay. that just gives you can't just get eliminated first and you go, I haven't had a bloody yeah. go. I you know? suddenly thought this would be good as celebrities. Like when you said the ro ro Romish yeah. and all that. Rather Drop them than in Gunge. Yeah. Rather than um uh like public, it'd be funny to watch like, I don't know, Alan Titchmarsh. Maybe. Proof. Anyway. Yeah, he's nearly 80, isn't he? They want to do that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this is the flaw. <laughs> old people falling through a trap door is not. No. Yeah. <laughs> the person who answered the questions in the last round fastest gets to choose the topic of yes, the next that's, question. Yeah. Oh, yes, to give yourself more chance. Yeah, yes. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead three. every time. Yeah. Sorry. And it's really <laughs> fucking and winding me up. It's not winding me up. I can't stop myself. <laughs> it's like watching a film, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes. This is the bit we're raising. <laughs> we're in Jen and Joe. Oh, yeah, I don't know, get mate. me started on that Chill last night. Chill out. I had some of that last night. <laughs> I genuinely said, I'm watching the same thing as you. I said that. It was, it was embarrassing to say. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Just to recap, the person who answered the questions in the last <laughs> round fastest gets to choose the topic of yes. the next question. Yes. Shut up! <laughs> Sorry. Stop saying <laughs> I can't stop myself. I keep being pleased that I understand. <laughs> and quite pleased that it's come from your brain. But <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's good. Yes! Yes! Yes, I am good. <laughs> I'm not fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, is you not 
Shout me out, you're not thick. Yes! <laughs> Fucking hell, listen back to this, everyone. Every time Joe says yes, <laughs> it's him screaming, I'm not thick. <laughs> With other people helping me. <laughs> right. Sorry, I'll do my absolute best not to shout yes. The person who answered the questions in the last round fastest gets to choose the topic of the next question from a choice of three, giving them a small advantage. <laughs> Once again, the quickest answer gets given a safe square and gets to choose which square the other contestants climb onto. The rounds continue eliminating contestants through the trapdoors and each row as they climb the pyramid until only one contestant remains at the victor victorious at the top okay so you've got a winner yeah yeah i, I get yeah I'm, I'm in so this is like strike it lucky wasn't it once you got to the end you went yeah. back again yeah, you? yeah 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 and then you okay. have to go back down the pyramid yeah the come down the first to the top then has to climb down again and they have one minute to answer <laughs> as many questions as they can. And each correct answer reveals a safe step on the way down. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, you answer, say you answer seven questions correctly. You have seven safe steps light up on the pyramid on the way down. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you only need one on each level, don't you? So how does that work? Well, let's so continue. Yeah, maybe Andy's sorted that out as well. Yeah. The twist. Oh. Winner or loser, question mark. One of the trap doors randomly selected leads to a bonus round. So the losing competitor has a chance to play on in their own very side game. Oh, hold on. Okay. As contestants fall into the normal trapdoor, their silhouette is visible in the step <laughs> below. They wave and their light goes out. They're out of the game. The lucky contestants who falls into the crap door, working title, finds <laughs> themselves in a themed room where they realise they're still playing the game. There is a camera inside the crap door, and they are linked to the host via a small screen. <laughs> this person then becomes a playful foil for the host. They're like a devil on their shoulder, <laughs> uh. revelling with the host in the failures of the players remaining. It's in their interest for them to lose, and the host loves this <laughs> playful relationship. Does he? Definitely. Also, what the hell happened to the final bit? Hang on. <laughs> this yeah, is bloody bit the... called the final. <laughs> <laughs> well, we started talking about the final and then we're in some crap booth. I was like, what's going on? For the rest of the game, the host plays with this person, a comic relationship, teasing <laughs> and controlling them. On occasion, there will be a flap at the front of the step where they fell, where our host can post something through to them, a note, a prop for a particular question, or even a snack. They are also given them oh, special see. challenges, and also, crucially, offering them the chance to win all of the money in the booby prize pot. Every time the contestants get something wrong, money is diverted into this pot. It's like the loser has fallen into a parallel universe where right is wrong and vice versa. So they win when the others lose. It's a sideshow where the loser becomes <laughs> a plaything for the host. But also where the loser... What are your thoughts on this? I, I need that to be clarified. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we all do. It seems to be like the biggest bit of the document. And the but I think it know. could be good. I think it's too. it might be too simple the other way. I think it could be good. As the winning player descends the pyramid, the lo loser is able to bet on their progress. The host can also set silly side bets, unheard by the player. E.g., for £50, which leg will they step onto most as they come down? Will they take an odd or even number of the steps? The crapdoor loser then gets a pass to see if they win the less leftover pot. Fucking hell, I don't know what that is myself. I'm utterly <laughs> confused by that. <laughs> that doesn't mean it doesn't work. <laughs> because my brain won't compute it. Are you saying I'm thick? 
<laughs> right, this is the finale. Okay, this is the bit I'm interested in. The remaining contestant now has to make his or her way back down the pyramid again, trying to avoid the hidden trapdoors. But this time, there is only one safe square on each row. Ooh. Okay. There's only one safe... Oh, that's good. Right, sorry. I'm not going to say... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one safe square. Yeah. Very good. This is good. Yeah. To begin the final round, they are asked general knowledge questions for one minute. The amount of co correct an uh, answers will determine how many trapdoors they will be shown on the pyramid, making it easier for them to climb all the way down. Yes. So the more questions you get right, the more chance you have of getting to the bottom. The contestant will collect money every time he or she successfully climbs down a row until they get to the bottom or they fall through a trapdoor. The crapdoor loser then gets a pass to see if they have won the leftover pot. Oh, I see. So it comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. What am I thinking? I'm sort of, I'm sort of, the thing that's nagging me is the fact that they have to fall through the door. Fall. Yeah, well, you change that, wouldn't you? You don't need that. Yeah, but change it to what? Well, they just step on a square and they're eliminated. I like the drama of well, the Well, there, there'll be a way fall. where you can do it safely, I'm sure, but... Maybe they're on wires or something. That's not for you or I. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it good to know how to do it? I love that thing. It's just that moment of them going, right, is it that square or is it that square? Playing with the playing with the time, doing some Michael Barrymore, playing with the atmosphere. Oh. Yeah, the audience at home knows where the trap door is. Oh, that oh, that's good. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. It'd be good if there was a consequence to it, like falling through. Like, Well, why can't you have people falling through? I don't want my mum falling through. Okay, Pete, <laughs> you just get 30-year-olds playing it. Fucking hell, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's set. Face, then. <laughs> <laughs> just get young people. I don't know why that spun me out. Yeah, okay. Um, so, it's are like we going to try... Oh, big bro got this idea of Big Brother. I don't want my mum in it. Oh, oh, fuck it then. Fuck the <laughs> idea off. <laughs> I'm sorry if I don't want my mum to fall for it. No, time. I don't. But we just get someone who's, you know, he can do a medical. <laughs> They're all right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> um, the, the loser, I don't know why we added that. There was a reason Andy thought maybe it was one of the losers. Too simple. I, I think it was because their game was over too quickly. And it gave someone a chance. I kept thinking that loser could then. I thought we were going to say somehow take over the final or something. I, don't know. I thought. I thought we'd spoken about that and that that happened. I thought, yeah. Um, Listen, there will be TV producers listening to this, going, "Actually, they're laughing, but this is good." <laughs> <laughs> And I certainly like them as personalities. <laughs> Even though we, they won't be hosting, so what's that got to do with them? <laughs> but it'll be nice to work with them behind the scenes. I particularly liked it when David said about how the host would have fun with the foil in the crap room and they'd have yeah. a lovely relationship. <laughs> yeah. Um, should we try and play it? Not now, but with another... With like... Because that was my idea for you, wasn't it? I was going to try and play can we this not just, game. Can you do a pyramid now? Can we not just Done quick, it. quickly Done play it. it? Okay. Well, let's just play it now for five minutes. So are we saying there's just one safe step on the way down? Yeah. Because the more questions This is get. wonderful. Yeah. This is wonderful. <sighs> so say I got six correct answers. If you make... So, shall I tell you how many squares there are? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. The 28 places, oh no, 27 because the first one. So, if you look at that, right, 
and you get 10 answers. Maybe, would you have, say it's a minute and a half or whatever, so you know, you know, like, you probably get to about here, and you're like, oh, now it's getting... Yeah. I'm wondering, do you remember in, in Strike It Lucky, you had you had the ones that were hot spots, but there was also questions, so you got another question. Yeah. So you could maybe play like a... Like, so my, the, the, when I'm at the top, what's the first... You, I've got two steps below me. Yeah. So what what was what is that? One of those is a trap door. Yeah, is on every right? level. Yeah. So you probably so I've got a fifty percent chance. That's it. Got... And when you're at the bottom, you've got like a ten percent chance of getting. Yeah, but but the yeah. chances are you'll get a question, at least one question right. So you'll probably be told that one's safe. No, I don't think you should have that. Well, because although you, you can't, you can't you... just can't just end immediately, can it? No. So. Final. Is that how we played it? I'm sure it wasn't like that. Oh, God, I need a wee. Um, oh, well, should we end it there? Yeah. I think we should try and play it next time, though. Yeah. Um, oh, there's definitely fun with the tension. It's probably a little bit too confusing. <laughs> Everyone listening going, are you telling me? Yes, I am telling you. It's a little bit confusing. We're aware of that. But that's what this is about. You keep chipping away at it until you've got yourself a very <laughs> and, good game and show. And making a pod out of it. <laughs> so you double Which bubble. Which is the main <laughs> <laughs> But if we can... Oh, I want to work it out so we can play it on the pod. Yeah, I, well, I think we can. I, if we get, like, Vivian and all that to play, Vivian and Joe and Rosie and everyone... Yes. Then we yeah. can. We can definitely then, play going up. Yeah, exactly. And then we, and, but I think we try and work it out with whoever. So me and you. When are host. we going to work it out? We're not going to work it out. Well, on the next pod. I'm not doing it when it's not <laughs> a pod. <laughs> <laughs> or better things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right then. Uh, um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that wasn't beyond frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, that's going out anyway, isn't it? <laughs> Done. Right. <laughs> See you later.